vitamin D is a very powerful steroid hormone that our body produces in response to sun exposure. So the sunlight that is touching our skin, that is entering our skin in the form of UV radiation, that means UVB and UVA uh, primarily, um, the UVB rays stimulate the production of vitamin D and the UVA rays make sure that we don't produce too much of it and so UVA is primarily in charge of uh, removing any excess uh, vitamin D in the body. Uh, vitamin D is, if it's ingested, can be very toxic. In fact, if you produce, if you ingest too much of it, it can cause damage to the liver and it can actually kill you. So it's important to make a differentiation between supplemental vitamin D and the vitamin D that is produced in response to sunlight and I always prefer the second option because you are sure, assured by uh, you know, the, the sun exposure that you will never ever overdose on vitamin D. And the importance here is that vitamin D is produced uh, to a point that it can keep your immune system in check, uh, it keeps it uh, balanced, that means it's not aggressive, it's not overreactive, uh, and it's not underreactive. Uh, that means you will always be in a, in a place where the body is capable of purifying itself, cleansing itself, without the requirement for external stimulation such as viral material that could also lead to an internal purification if vitamin D levels are in fact low which typically happens during the winter months when people don't get enough sun exposure. Those who have not received enough vitamin D or have not recharged their vitamin D batteries so to say uh, during the summer months, they are particularly prone to develop uh, things like the flu or colds or other uh, viral or bacterial infections. Vitamin D controls about 20,000 genes in the body and uh, especially those that are responsible for keeping our body uh, free of infection and free of any harm or contamination. So vitamin D is such a powerful hormone that unfortunately it is not uh, given the credence and the importance, the value uh, that it has in our physiology, in our body, in our uh, function, in the functions of all the different organs and systems that are supposed to keep us balanced and healthy. Now, when vitamin D levels drop, um, you can you know, gradually, as, as this happens from year to year, increase the risk of developing cancer, heart disease, osteoporosis, and um, many other ailments such as multiple sclerosis, which are very, very high comparatively or relatively to uh, in, in northern states or colder countries compared with uh, the, the states or countries uh, nearer to the equator. So that's where people would have more sun exposure and the incidence of multiple sclerosis and cancer and heart disease and all these other chronic illnesses are much lower um, in uh, those countries that have a higher uh, sun exposure or where people are you know, more outdoors, living more outdoors than they live indoors. So we have a, a direct connection between vitamin D levels and many of the ailments that uh, people suffer from and it's particularly important uh, for people living in a northern state to find ways to replenish their vitamin D. Now if sun exposure is um, not sufficient during the winter uh, month then I suggest uh, either to travel to a warmer country if you can, uh, you know, at least to break up the winter, uh, go to Florida or Costa Rica or some other places that have uh, plenty of sunshine 
you know, during our winter months, or if that is not possible for you to acquire, then a vitamin D lamp or UV lamp that would help you to uh, keep your vitamin D levels um, at, at the level that is required for the body to have a strong healthy immune system and to prevent any infectious uh, illnesses to occur. Having said that, uh, not you know, even in uh, places where the sun shines in the northern hemisphere, uh, you will not necessarily get enough vitamin D from that during the winter months. Uh, you, you can uh, verify whether you are getting enough or not by standing in the sunlight and if the shadow uh, of your body is longer than the body height. Uh, so, in other words, if you look down and the shadow uh, is, you know, it has a greater length than your body height, then you're not getting vitamin D. If you are, if you are um, in a, it's your, even during the midday period, uh, seeing that your shadow is longer than your body height, again, you don't make vitamin D. It, in that case, it would be best to use a vitamin D lamp or UV lamp. Uh, Dr. Mercola has some standing lamps which are uh, pretty much effective in restoring vitamin D levels. There are smaller lights that you just look at. Um, make sure that you expose at least the upper part of the body or a large part of the body to these UV uh, rays so that you do produce enough vitamin D.